A few months into her pregnancy, Anissa Brown had a routine ultrasound that detected a large hole in her baby's diaphragm. Her baby had been diagnosed with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia, or CDH. The hole would let the liver, stomach, and other internal organs compress the lungs, leaving them little room to develop. Her doctor told her there was no hope, but that was before she came to the Cincinnati Fetal Center. They just were telling me that um, they had a balloon that they used overseas and they had did it on a couple patients over there and it was a, a lot of pet babies made it and that I would be like the first person to get it from over here. So that kind of scared me because I'm like, oh my goodness, but I'm like, I got to try something. The Cincinnati Fetal Center is a collaboration among Cincinnati Children's, Good Samaritan Hospital, and the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. The Fetal Center is one of only a few sites in the U.S. to be testing a new treatment for the most severe cases of CDH. Dr. Jose Peiro, a fetal surgeon, says the procedure uses a balloon to block a baby's trachea during a mother's pregnancy to promote the baby's lung development. So it's a very tiny balloon. It's detachable, so we need to, pl to place like a big needle, it's like three millimeters inside the, uh, the amniotic cavity with a camera. So we can see the nose, the mouth of the baby, and then go through the mouth inside the larynx, through the vocal cords inside the trachea. That is challenging. Once inside the trachea, the surgeons insert a catheter with a balloon at the tip, inflate the balloon, and then remove the catheter leaving the balloon behind to block the trachea while the placenta provides oxygen for the baby. Dr. William Polzine, director of maternal fetal medicine at the Cincinnati Fetal Center, managed Anissa's care after the balloon had been placed. We were uh, using medicine to stop her labor, and then we, under ultrasound guidance, were able to pass a needle into the uh, neck of the fetus and into the balloon itself that was obstructing the airway. This allowed the balloon to deflate and for the lungs then to start to recover their ability to function normally at the time that the baby was born. On January 2nd of 2017, Anissa gave birth to her son, Azari, and waited anxiously to see him for the first time. It was like five hours I had to wait. I waited and waited and it was the best moment of my life actually. With current advancements, prognosis for mild CDH is excellent. In severe cases like Azari's, the prognosis is about 50-50. Dr. Paul Kingma, neonatal director of the Cincinnati Fetal Center who took care of Azari after he was born, says the new procedure should improve on that. Their survival rates after they're born go way up. Um, and all the things that we monitor as far as their lung function and how long they're on the ventilator, how long they're in the hospital, all those things improve significantly uh, if they go through this procedure. Dr. Fong Yen Lim, surgical director of the Cincinnati Fetal Center, says the study should also tell us whether the procedure reduces additional life-altering medical issues that often occur. If um, these babies can grow up without significant other issues, uh, then this will be a procedure that uh, can be a good option to our future patients. After Azari was born, Dr. Lim closed the hole in his diaphragm. As for Anissa, she recently celebrated with Azari on his first birthday, thankful for the decision to be the first at the fetal center to enroll in the study. Together, they are looking forward to a bright future. He's my blessing. That's all I can say. He's my 